dun, 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 dun. Look at this. What? Who is this? Very nice. Very nice. Who? Are, who will it be? Who will it be? You see, that's how I open packaging. Look how terrible it is. It's just to show you guys the packaging. And I, like usually, if I do more series, more figures from this series, I, I might do a couple more packaging. But overall, or not. Look at these. Who is? Mm, very nice. Look at this. This is Mr. Ironmonger with the. Uh, doesn't say oh yeah it does right there opening opening cockpit never mind that joke didn't work out I thought it'd be funny but it wouldn't okay so packaging overall let me move the figure for now um got the other figures in the series mark one another Iron Man group without the opening thing um I have this guy too with the interchangeable crap uh, mark two a war machine, another iron monger, and Mark Three. Venice. Wait, what is that? Yeah, it's an iron monger. But all of them um, look pretty cool. Might uh, might pick up Mark Three also. Maybe I'll think about it. Um, the side has the picture of the iron monger in this case. Iron monger name. Uh, kind of a cool design, I guess. I am stands for Iron Man. Um, the the middle uh the light that he has in the middle kind of design in the background uh the side just has like these stripes and uh the top does not have anything and you have a nice drawing here iron man but nice okay let's get on let's get on with these okay so we have iron man uh, iron monger crap and this is how i pose him because he looks cool, it looks like he's like chasing Iron Man or something, it looks really cool. But overall, he's a really big figure and I got this guy on clearance at my local Zellers, which is like kind of like a target. Um, I got this guy for six ninety nine, I think, Canadian, something like that, yeah. But he's usually 15, so I guess in the United States he's probably like 10. And I have no idea any other countries because um, I'm sorry. Um, overall, oh, by the way, if you guys notice this paint and he, like here paint, and um, I painted his heels a little bit just to check because I wanted to might I might paint it. And the gun here is painted, and this is painted. It's oh, I painted this stuff. I'm not done yet. Here in the back is painted. Here is painted. I'm not done yet. That's and it doesn't come with a figure like that. Um, overall, I'll show you a really nice, I really love this head sculpt, it's really really nice looking. Unfortunately no no head articulation, but that's I guess because of the, um, like, gimmick kind of, but which is a cool gimmick though, so it's worth it. Because the head sculpt is nice, it looks really accurate, it looks really cool, I really like that head sculpt. Uh, the shoulder pieces are actually like kind of like detached, but they look nice, they look like they are attached with all these mechanical it, it it does its job very well of um looking like um like a built suit and looking like the one in the movie i mean he has all these like you see the articulation the elbow articulation is made like like a disc is connected to some looks really cool and the arms are really cool too they're like you could pose take iron man by the head and like pose him like holding him or something that would be a kind of a cool pose i guess um, the legs have all the pistons, like really cool. The articulation is very like, not very humanoid, but more robotic, which I think is a great job. And I think overall Hasbro did a really good job with this whole line. I've seen Titanium Man and might pick him up too because he looks cool. And overall, he doesn't have articulation in the head, but everything else, he's quite articulate. I mean, you got 360 in the hands, then you have at the upper elbow also 360 right here. And not elbow, a bicep, I guess at the bicep, 360. Then you have the elbow, 180. Uh, then you have the hand, 360. Uh, I'm not sure the guns don't move, yeah. Looks cool, uh, same thing on the other side. Then he has 360 in the waist. Um, he has the leg, 360. The legs comes out, um, elbow. I mean knee, sorry, and uh, feet articulation. Overall, 
very nice. Really like, really impressed by this figure. I like it a lot better than the other one I have in this line, which is this guy. I mean, this guy's pretty impressive too, but this guy's just way worth your money, even for $15. Had I picked him up, I would be satisfied, I'd be really happy. I mean, this is a bulk of plastic. You really feel good as a collector, at least for me. When I buy a really big piece, it feels like you're getting your money's worth on like, especially when you're paying this much money for a piece for like one piece that's why I, I like like Hulk and the thing and all these because they're you usually get a lot of plastic and in this case it's really nice plastic I mean of course he needs more paint application because it's kind of stale but it's still movie accurate and all these little details it's kind of easy to do so I mean I'm gonna p probably paint the pistons a little different silver maybe to highlight it out maybe these in the back here just to make it look a little nicer because the detail is there 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 there's lots of detail what what you can paint up to create a really really nice figure although it is already nice I mean if you're not really into customizing you're still gonna get your money's worth but if you're a customizer this is definitely something you wanna pick up if you don't wanna be going out and spending the sideshow and hot toys and all those big amounts of money for a really nice collectible and it's quite large I mean I'm not quite sure how big it is exactly I'll be right back to check I got a ruler let us check I'll tell you in centimeters and meters for Europeans because I used to use centimeters and it was kinda hard to get used to um, so centimeters about 18 and a half no maybe 18 maybe a little less than 18 and inches he's taller than Iron Man so he's taller than 6 that's for sure he's about 7 and a quarter around there 7 and a quarter really nice really big really solid and of course he also has a gimmick which is this I don't really know if there's an actual button because I didn't check the instructions there might be an actual button but this opens up to reveal Mr. What the hell? Obadiah. Um, and uh, yeah, this is not painted also. I painted that. Um, his health, head sculpt. Wait, I'm just gonna... Kind of so you can see it well. Where's the paper? Okay, whatever. I'll just use my head. His head sculpt is alright. I mean, it's not excellent. And uh, the way the gimmick works is basically the head goes down and when you bring this piece. So when you close this, this goes down and clicks into place. So it stays there quite nice. Um, once you open it, the head pops out and there he is strapped in. Uh, really nice, really worth it. I'm serious, like, especially for what I paid for it, I was really satisfied. I was like, that was well worth my money and I would definitely recommend it for the full price even if you can't find it on clearance or anything like that but if you find this guy definitely pick him up well worth your money you will not be disappointed with this guy it's it's just a bulk of plastic and nice articulation I mean no head articulation but still that's he compensates with other parts and all these cool like gun detail and like you could paint all this there's so much potential for this figure it's unbelievable you might even want to pick up maybe two and like repaint one or something it's just really good looking and really really nice for customizers like it's perfect for customers because it's like mostly basic color and then you can do applications whatever you want to do to it really nice definitely give it five out of five five out of five for packaging I mean you might for some people might be really annoyed by the heads by the no head articulation so if that might annoy you uh, then you might be turned off by this figure or something but I I'm definitely like most of you if you want definitely recommend it definitely worth your money and uh, yeah he just looks really cool and menacing and huge and just really awesome looking so uh, hope you enjoyed this guys um, I'll be making another review soon maybe even tonight another one I might do just to get some out of the way and then just upload them and uh, yeah 
So I'll see you next time, guys. See you later.